What is up my riders? Yeah, I made a video today and this is specifically for anyone that is going to be purchasing a uh, stage two from Unitronic itself, the Uniconnect instead of the software. I would highly recommend going to a shop and getting it done if it's at all possible because right now what I'm dealing with is I have my car back, I'm in my car. Um, it was in the shop, like I told you guys, getting uh, inspected. And what I'm reading online is stage two will shut off any check engine lights, any any faulty code lights you get on your car. Um, and it prevents uh, a readiness sensor for them to hook up and uh, I guess receive the connection from that when you stage to it through the Unitronic. Uh, usually when you actually go to a tuner shop, what they'll do is they'll install an add-on that won't make that an issue but for me what I've learned is that uh, you need to uh, reset it back to factory to stock and then take it in and when you restore it to stock make sure to drive it 60 miles because the computer will resense a change in the ECU um, regardless of what you do so right now I am driving it for 60 miles uh, it's so weird giving uh, all the horsepower away on stock uh, and literally uh, it's night and day now that I've uh, restored it back uh, the power is down to 210 again instead of the 300 or almost 300 I want to show you guys kind of the difference because I haven't gotten a chance to ever really show you guys a before and after and you guys can check out my other videos if you want a comparison of stage 2 I have a lot of videos of the 0 to 60 times and everything but um, even in acceleration, it's not really that quick. Um, don't really want to drive it too much hard because you don't want to overspool with the, um, without the software with the downpipe because I'm still running the downpipe. But what I've learned is it pays off to have an O2 sensor, uh, the spacer for it. Uh, that really pays off uh, because it prevents check engine code. But I also had other lights on that my stage two was preventing from coming on. And uh, what it does is it constantly checks and resets the uh, check engine light too. Um, and that won't work. It depends on how your emissions are in your state, but for Pennsylvania, it was a no-go. So now I gotta do all this extra stuff. And I think, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pay twice to get it inspected. I don't know, they told me to bring it in right away in the morning. So I'm gonna shout out the company that did it, if they actually give me a break. So. Um, here, I'll show you guys a little bit of the speed you get. So guys, remember I told you this is stock. So I'm gonna go on a back road right now. It doesn't really change the sound. The sound's still pretty loud. I feel like it gives it a different tone though with the stage two, it like gives it a deeper. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you just notice the big difference of power. So um, I'm just gonna stop here at the stop sign and give you guys a little feel for just the raw power of this. All right, so you guys remember how many, uh, how I peel out and stuff, watch this. That's almost all the way down. <laughs> That's a big difference. One more time uh, when I stop again. All right, one more time for you guys. This is gonna be all the way down. Yep, no spin of the tires, nothing at all. It's so weird. Also, what I want you guys to be careful with, um, what it did for me uh, doing the Unitronic, I don't know if this is just something weird with the 2016 models. Uh, it messed with my electronic stability control, my ESC. It's like a little car driving with little uh, burnout marks on your dash. I don't know how to bring it up because it's not on now. Um, it messed with that when I did my stage two. So I think that is why my steering started to feel really sketchy and stuff. Because I don't think I had electronic stability control on this. I think it like messed with it. And that's also what I was thinking was messing with uh, the car itself because every time I would turn the ESC 
electronic stability control or my uh, either your traction control on and off, that's when it was happening. So I'm pretty sure that was what it is. So basically what was happening is the reason why my car was dying is because uh, the electronic stability control had an error. So when I was taking it out of uh, the, the main mode and turning the electronic stability control off, uh, which I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like here in a second. It was killing the car because it didn't have any electronic stability control. There was an error malfunction. So what it was doing was it was bringing that code up, which I didn't understand why. And it was uh, killing the car. It was shutting the power. So I'm gonna have to call Unitronic before I even go back to stage two again and figure out how to fix that uh, so it's not an issue and uh yeah so that pretty much solved the big mystery of why my car was screwing up when i would do kind of the pulls with out the traction control and the burnouts with it it was malfunctioning and shutting the car off this is what i'm talking about guys right next to the start stop for the engine is what was the malfunction uh, error when i would go and click it to turn it off, uh, it would show up on my uh, dash like this, traction control off, but I had a malfunction, and thank God I, uh, <laughs> I took it back to factory because I found out all this stuff because it told me there was a malfunction when I re uh, restored it in the stage two software. Uh, and that is when it would come up, that is how uh, it would uh, mess with the, the electronic stability control and um, that's why my car would shut off. Now guys, what that is is basically telling me, sorry, I'm gonna rant on for a little bit because I have to drive 60 miles and I'm only at 10 right now, um, is maybe I should take it in and actually, or there's a APR certified dyno uh, 30, 40 minutes away from me. So maybe I should just bite the bullet and take it in there and get it done correctly so they can install and get rid of any of the issues that I'm having. Um, and that would really prevent any issues from occurring with the car again itself. So that's a big question. I am also, uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. If you don't, you should at just Waltzen. Um, sorry, it's getting dark out. So I'm trying to get a little bit light uh, in here off the lights I have. I am looking at a Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 liter, uh, for this channel uh, this week. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna trade this in or not, but I'm thinking probably uh, because I want it to be a race car. I want a rear wheel drive platform and the 2013 models have 248 horsepower and they sound like Nissan GTRs. <laughs> It's actually pretty cool. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do is get that uh, figured out because I really actually am interested in them and they seem like really cool cars. They're coupes like my friends that he just got the uh, 86 um, Toyota. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I, I should look at them at least. So I'm gonna take my car in once this inspection gets done, which will probably be tomorrow. It's supposed to be today. Uh, so take it back in said the inspection should be done by tomorrow and Then I'm gonna drive this up. They're gonna take a look at it value my car and I might have a Hyundai Genesis But I'm gonna record all that regardless I'm not gonna pull the trigger right away because I know how to haggle prices with um, Dealerships and stuff and you want to wait till the end of the month You want to kind of push them because they have to meet a quota at the end of the month um, so I'm just gonna kind of like get their little interest in me and then uh, say that I can't do anything right now. I gotta talk to my grandpa, yada, yada, and then give it a couple weeks. But yeah, you guys will be able to come along and hopefully we'll be able to get some test drive footage. I'll show you the car, show the other car, show the dealership, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be an awesome video. Uh, I think that's about it for this video because there's nothing else I really wanted to show you. Just wanted to do something while I was driving around. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. Hype this video up. Make sure to drop a fat like down below. And let's get ready for a uh, Hyundai Genesis uh, drive tomorrow and video. I love you guys. <sighs>